Good morning. Well, I'm out here on this windy day, but I want you to imagine with me a much sunnier day, a beautiful day that you have spent playing outside. And now imagine with me that it's bedtime, and just as you crawl into bed, you feel a different type of crawling. Something is crawling on your leg. Yes. Today, we are going to talk about a wood tick. There are about 800 species of ticks in the world, and about 90 of those live in the United States. A tick has a wide, oval-shaped, flat body. And of those species, two of the most prevalent live in Wisconsin. Now, one of those is called the deer tick, also called the black-legged tick. Now, deer ticks are often feared by people because they can transmit or give the person that they bite Lyme disease. As I well know, I have been infected twice. A deer tick is smaller than a wood tick, and the lower back is red, where a regular wood tick, the lower back of it is black. Now, we're going to focus more today on the wood tick, which is also called the dog tick. The American dog tick, like all ticks, lives off of blood from its host. The host meaning the animal or person that it has attached to by biting. Ticks are arachnids, and like other arachnids, such as spiders and scorpions, they have eight legs, no antenna, and no wings. Ticks are most often found in grassy or wooded areas. Wisconsin is in the top ten states for ticks, tick bites, and tick-borne illnesses. That's not a great piece of news for us. Another part that is a bit distressing is that ticks can live and be active anytime the temperature is above freezing. There are four stages to the life cycle of a tick. The first is the egg, and then the larva, which is a six-legged hatched tick. Then it goes to the nymph stage, which has eight legs, so it is a true arachnid at that point. And finally, the adult. And the adult can be anywhere from the size of a, a sesame seed to a sunflower seed, depending on the species. Now, when an adult female wood tick bites a person or an animal, it will drop off and it will lay its eggs. Anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 eggs. That's a lot of baby ticks. Once those ticks hatch, they can go for several months before they have to find a host to live off of. But once they start feeding off of the blood of a host, they have to continually do this for the rest of their life. I found this tick on me last night and I encased it in some tape. Now, if you find a tick crawling on you, just remove it, dispose of it. But if you find a tick that is actually attached, you're going to want to have an adult help you remove it with a tweezers. Now, the tiny mouth parts of a tick are barbed, which means as they remove it, it may pull off some of the skin. Don't worry about that. Just clean and wash the site, perhaps disinfect it, keep that bite area clean, and watch it for any type of infection. Some people even save that tick so they can show it to the doctor at a later date. Now, sometimes people find a tick attached and they apply something like rubbing alcohol or petroleum jelly or nail polish, thinking it's going to help that tick back out. But truly, it doesn't. Ticks bite and they burrow their head and they really don't come out until they are ready. In fact, if you apply some of those things, it may cause that tick to regurgitate. That's a fancy word for spit up and spread more infectious material into the bite. So really, the best thing to do is just to remove it with the tweezers, try not to worry, and keep an eye on it for a few days. Ticks hate essential oils. Oils such as tea tree, cinnamon, lemon, orange, lavender, peppermint, or geranium. By using those essential oils and putting a little around your ankles or your wrists, you may very well keep those ticks off of you when you are enjoying your time outside. Now, one last tip. When you find a tick on you and you want to dispose of it, you could burn it, douse it in rubbing alcohol, or encase it in tape. Don't flush it down your toilet. That is simply like a sewer amusement park ride for that tick, and it doesn't kill it. 
Well, this has been kind of an itchy topic for today, but hopefully you are a little more informed about ticks and can enjoy your time outside a little more. Have a great day.